Hi there, this is Teacher Carol once again, and welcome to NTC's Dictionary of Everyday American English Expressions, brought to you by Kemlish.com. Before we start our lesson for today, let's just have a short recap. In the previous video, we started to talk about our first unit, our first topic under Unit 3, and that was about prefaces. Under this topic, we've discussed a preface to asking a question, like, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me for asking, if you don't mind my asking, and it's none of my business, but. Aside from this, we've also talked about a preface to making a statement in a formal way, like, if I may say so, if I may be so bold, if it's okay with you, if it pleases you, please be advised that, and so on and so forth. Hope the following expressions that we've started to talk about in the previous video would be very useful for you to start a conversation. Now, let's continue our lesson about the topic, prefaces. Today, we will discuss the continuation of this topic about a preface to make a statement, but now using informal way. When we say informal, this means that these are the expressions that we commonly use if we are talking to someone that is same age or same level as you have. For example, you can use these expressions with your friends, brothers, or sisters, but not with your mom, your dad, grandparents, boss, teachers, or someone that is older than you. Now, let's see what are those expressions that we can use in informal way. We have to make a long story short. What I would like to say is, but I just wanted to say, by the way, if you ask me, and not that it's any of my business, Now, let's try to use some of the expressions that we have here in a sentence. For example, you can say, If you ask me, I'd rather stay than go this weekend. In this example, you're trying to say to someone that is having a same level as yours or same age as yours that you choose to stay than go this weekend. That's why you can use the word, if you ask me. Next is, you can also say, by the way, are there anyone here who wants to go with me? In this example, seems like you caught the discussion and you're trying to suggest something. That's why you use the expression, by the way. And you indicated what was your intention or what do you want to say in this example you're trying to ask who wants to go with you now let's practice the following expressions again everybody say to make a long story short what i would like to say is but i just wanted to say by the way, if you ask me, and not that it's any of my business. So again, here are the expressions that you can use in informal way. Now, let's move on to our next preface. After we've talked about those statement or expressions that we can use in informal way, Let's talk about a preface to making a statement in a very polite way. Now, 
these kinds of expressions are used if you are talking to someone superior than you. Now, we have here, as you requested, for your convenience. We apologize for the inconvenience. With your safety in mind. With your comfort in mind. As you can see, the following expressions here are commonly used by those businesses to say something with their customers or clients. For example, you are a customer in a department store and you bought something but when you check it, the item is broken. Now, for sure, you will complain. As a sales staff in that department store, they will use this expression. For example, we apologize for the inconvenience, but we will change this item for you. At first, they have to say sorry about the inconvenience that they've caused. And the next thing that they're gonna say is the solution. And the solution in this example is they will change their item. Next is they will also use the following. With your safety in mind, you should fasten your seatbelt. In this example, they're trying to tell you what are the things that you need to do, but they will use a very polite statement. As a customer or as a client, they have to make sure your safety. So, let's try to practice the following expressions again. Let's begin as you requested for your convenience. We apologize for the inconvenience and with your safety in mind and lastly with your comfort in mind. So next time if you have to say and use the following expressions make sure that you will use them properly. That will be all for today. Join me again in the next video as we talk about Communication Barriers Before I let you go, I just want to remind you to review those expressions that we have for prefaces. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Goodbye.